Okay, today I'm going to compare um, one of the latest uh, NV series uh, virtual machines on Microsoft uh, in terms of running TensorFlow um, codes. And uh, I want to compare that with my Surface Pro 4 um, uh, with CPU only, not the GPU. That's uh, that I will show you in another video. So this is the NV12 uh, series. It has 16 cores and one 12 GBs. So uh, of the GB of RAM, and it has actually two um, M16 GPUs, M60, sorry. So I go to device manager, as you can see, we've got two uh, Tesla M60 CPUs, the latest version, Maxwell uh, architecture. And this is the processors here, as you can see. So now I'm going to test and see how it performs with my Surface Pro 4 CPU. And um, yes, if you want to see my Surface Pro 4, actually, let me bring this properties. Yes, this is my computer, my Surface Pro 4. Uh, Core i7 and 16 GB of RAM and no um, GPU, dedicated GPU. And so let's try. The first thing is that I want to install, uh, the first thing to do is to install the TensorFlow. Um, I'm going to try, I had some problems with version 1. So I'm going to install uh, version um, 0 0.12 so I go ahead and run some command line okay and I say so I have to use pip3 pip so I run this command to up Great. Actually, it's a downgrade. That's yes, and I have to put two dashes here. Okay. So now this version is being downloaded, installed. So. Okay, done. So I'm going. I'm using Visual Studio to run TensorFlow. Uh, finish that. Um, okay. So yes, the Python has both of them here. So let's see um, how well how do do these two systems compare in running um, the uh, MNIST. Um, image recognition task, um, the sample on um, TensorFlow uh, website. So at the same time, uh, I, I can bring a timer and um, okay, I don't need that. So I'm going to bring my, this is my machine. So this is what you see now is my machine and um, I want to run this and then run that one and compare them in terms of a speed. So, um, do we need some timer here? Yes. Okay. This is a timer that's I'm stopwatch. So I start the I start it here. Okay, this is this. Um, this is the other system, the virtual machine, and this is my machine. Okay, so let's see how they compare. Okay, um, K 
Okay, this is my machine. This is the virtual machine. As you can see, um, this machine is actually really faster. And the reason is that, uh, well, this one is all using GPUs, a uh, CPU. So the powerful CPU here is actually helping that. But my machine here, um, is only a surface per core and as you can see like we have um, let's see how do they compare in completing one full ba batch I will bring this one here too so this is my CPU here and this is my surface per four and this is the other machine so as you can see and as you can kind of um you know like let me put your details here okay first the first uh, 100 a step and this one completed 14 steps so I can say that um, that machine is 14 times faster or something like that so does investing in CPUs uh, help you uh, it depends maybe So as you can see here, so the one on the left uh, costs you around two dollars per hour, but uh, one and so yeah, my machine is becoming a little bit faster. Now I can say like two hundred batches, twenty hundred batches, ten times faster. Okay, I take a screenshot of that. So number of cores matter, num number of CPUs actually matter. Okay, let's find a GPU version now that um, I think this is obvious that uh, this machine is around 10 times faster. Oh, um, I'm going to try and see how fast is the GPU version versus this one? Uh, I had another version, uh, another example, but that didn't work very well. 